Hey there, my name is Ty. I'm a licensed massage therapist. I'm gonna show you all about cupping today. If you wanted to try it on yourself or your clients, I'm gonna show you why you should add cupping into your life. It's an extremely easy and effective way to help those of us with chronic illness, fatigue, and pain, and just help get rid of stubborn injuries. Hey, if you're here for the first time, make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you can keep getting videos like this. All right, first I wanna briefly tell you about why you need to use cupping and what circumstances would be best, and then I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways to do cupping. Now, cupping is really useful for a few different purposes. It's very good at eliminating chronic pain and injuries and boosting your health and your immune system and just eliminating stagnant chi flow in Chinese traditional medicine is used to help dispel stagnation, which basically means that your blood and your lymph are kind of roadblocked in parts of your body. And these things can definitely affect your health in a myriad of ways, and I have personal experience with this. You should check out my video on fibromyalgia if you wanna learn more, but it all comes down to fascia. Now my frequent video watchers are probably approaching an expert level by now because I talk so much about it. But basically stuck fascia equals health problems and injuries. So cupping is similar to gua sa that I show frequently on this channel in its goal. But instead of scraping down, we're going to be lifting the fascia up. I've seen it in my own life restore my own energy and eliminate pain from fibromyalgia. So I am a huge believer in this. Now cupping can be performed a few different ways. The way that I'm showing right here is the most common way where cups are placed all over the desired area. And you can leave them for five or 10 minutes and then wait for redness to appear. Now you want the suction to be adequate and firm, but it doesn't need to be super painful to be working. Now with these particular cups, the twisting instigates the suction and there are a lot of different cups out there. So make sure you watch next week for my in-depth review. It'll come out on Wednesday on different cupping sets because there are so many. Now going up the bladder meridian, but you don't need to know where those points are. Just place them going up the spine. If you are cupping for health purposes, this is one spot that you really want to focus. Now the second way that you can use cups is to glide them over the skin. And I like to do this after the cups have sat for a bit. Now this can either feel amazing or kind of painful depending on how much fascial adhesion there is in that spot. Make sure if you are using these cups, you release some of the suction before gliding because it will generally be too much from that starting point. If you can't move the cup, that's a good indication that it's too tight. Now, because we are releasing metabolic waste and toxins that are stored in the skin and the fascia, it's really common to feel itchiness, tingling, coolness, electrical impulses, or other sensations as it's being released. This is one reason it's super important to drink water afterwards, especially with lemon to help your liver process and release some of that. Now, as you start removing the cups, you're gonna start paying attention to the coloring that you're seeing. A normal pink or red color is going to indicate healthiness. It's gonna indicate that there's not really any problems in that spot. Now, if it starts to get to where it has like purple spots, kind of looking like a bruise, it's not a bruise. That coloring is going to indicate fascial adhesions. It's going to indicate that there's a problem in that spot or some sort of chronic illness or chronic fatigue. Now, now that's one reason that I love gua sa and cupping because it can kind of act like a cheat sheet. It can kind of show you where things are stuck. When I started massaging Melissa, I could feel some of the fascial adhesions in the upper back, but when you look at the coloring, her coloring shows that the middle of her back actually has the most problems. And so if I did cupping there, I would focus a little bit more work in the middle of her back. The third way you can use this is with fascial pinning. You will love using the cups in this way. You can do it on yourself or somebody else. And here's a few different ways that you can do it. This is one of my favorite ways to use cupping and is highly effective because it can address fascial patterns that are keeping certain areas injured. You can release these tight shoulders from the back and then the front. And you can use this one for IT band syndrome and back pain. This one I'm particularly fond of. You just find areas that are tender and you can place the cups there and stretch away. And then this one for the thoracolumbar fascia is particularly good at pinning that entire fascial plane and then adding the stretch. 
If you want to watch some more videos on cupping or guasa, make sure that you click on some of these at the end and that you've subscribed below. If you like this video, make sure you comment and we'll see you in the next one.